Max Holzer knows he's a lucky man. A couple of years ago, he found out, quite by accident, that he had a triple A, or abdominal aortic aneurysm, a weakened bulge in the major artery that feeds the lower half of the body. A rupture of this artery would almost certainly be fatal, as it had been for two of his uncles. One was working in the garden and he just fell over and was gone. And the other one was working in the barn and fell over and was gone. Like many aneurysms, the AAA rarely has any noticeable symptoms, so it's like a time bomb inside a person's body. Many times the condition can be detected with a routine physical exam, and then screening tests like ultrasound, CT scan, or MRI can evaluate the level of danger. The risk for rupture is directly related to the size of the aneurysm. Once it gets to be about twice the normal size, the risk of rupture goes up enough that the risk of the aneurysm rupturing is higher than the risk of our procedures to fix it. In the past, repairing AAA aneurysms involved major open surgery with many potential complications, especially for patients with heart or other medical conditions. Today, however, a new technology is showing the potential to make AAA repair kinder, gentler, and much safer. In a catheterization procedure similar to this one, doctors insert a narrow tube through a small incision in the groin and feed it to the location of the aneurysm. Then, they release and attach a sleeve-like device that allows the blood to flow normally while taking the pressure off the artery wall. It's kind of basic plumbing. People will replumb their pipes when they get bad. Well, that's kind of what we do inside people. Perhaps the most encouraging thing about this exciting treatment is the speed at which patients have been recovering and getting back to their normal lives. Patients are sitting up and walking usually within hours. Uh, they usually can eat that night or the next morning. And again, they usually go home the next day. It's good to see you. It hasn't curtailed my activities one iota. Uh, I still ski, hunt, and fish, play a little golf. And I've had no trouble. And I'm just pleased that they came along with that technique by the time I needed it.